are very concerned about energy return on energy investment. Can you talk about uh, the, the type of energy return that we get from cold fusion? Well, I, I, would, uh, I think the energy you get from cold fusion is there for hot fusion as well. If you take all the oceans and the water in the ocean and get the deuterium atoms out of them, you, you, you have the energy content, if you could do the D plus D fusion, far exceeds the, uh, all the oil in the world. In fact, I think one square mile, one cubic mile of ocean water would surpass the oil reserves in the world. If you could extract the deuterium and turn it into fusion energy, D plus D going to helium-4. So, so that's what, what me is important about this field, and that's why it attracted so much attention when it was first announced. Is, is, is such a tremendous energy source if we can ever tap it. And, uh, but, you know, in my experiments, I, I'm nowhere close to seeing a commercial application. I'm nowhere, nothing at all like Rossi, but I'm, I'm in it mainly for the science. And, and my goal, like I said, is just to get a reproducible experiment that anybody can do. And if we build from there, I think it will take care of itself. Um, Do you want to comment on that? Well, personally, I believe <coughs> cold fusion is, the, for me, for the most important, uh, if it is cold fusion or transmutation, the heat that you get, if it works as we think, not a small amount, is a specifically important for environment for water. It means desalination. Because the other thing, you need electricity. It means you should convert this heat, thermal you know, energy, into electric. Except if you want to do desalination of water and give water to everybody. I think myself, I think this is the most important uh, really approach for cold fusion. This energy is almost free. And if it happens, uh, but I think uh, Converted to electricity, of course, it's possible if you have steam, you can. But most important for me is cheap, is almost really mm -hmm. free energy. Mm -hmm. So you can, no country in the world will be thirsty anymore, mm -hmm. is what I think. 